here in Northern Ontario. Uh, we're doing our annual crappy chip trip, trip that we do. Um, I'm here with Carl Kawanka and Josh, myself, Joe, and Ken. And uh, last night we caught ourselves a whole whack of uh, bluegills and crappy. So right now what we've done is we got it all ready. You see everything we got out here today. And we're gonna cook this stuff up for you so you can see what it's like right here in beautiful Northern Ontario. Fries down. Gotta do this right. Nothing like a pot of fries in two minutes. There we go. Throw them in that ice water, get them nice and cold. Alrighty, we gotta check the temp of our grease here. You throw that in there, you wanna be like that 350, 375 degrees. So let's watch that spin around and see where we're at. Good enough. Alrighty, so we just break off a bunch of that water. Watch, this grease is gonna be hot. These are a little wet still, but it's all right. There we go. So yeah, I can do this better on the other one. Still. Okay, so we'll do it on this one here now. Okay, I'll show you, this is gonna be hot when we go in there. I'm gonna drop these in right away. Start to boil over. You just lift it up a couple times like that, and it cools it down enough that it won't go right over. Drop another handful in, and then we just pull it up like that. And it'll cool itself down enough in just a second. Or two. One of the big things for me anyways is I prefer to use Yukon Golds over russet potatoes. I know eight out of 10 fry trucks you're gonna go to are probably russet potatoes. The reason I prefer these Yukon Golds or yellow flesh potatoes is because with russets, if you get an old potato, and this is usually what a russet potato look like, because I probably have a russet or two in here. They go brown or like, a little bit like that when you're cooking them. The Yukon Golds always stay a little more golden. But the rest of potatoes, I find, if you get old potatoes and you do your fries, they taste chalky on the inside. I've never, ever had a chalky French fry with a Yukon Gold or a Yellow Flesh potato. They're always just firmer and you don't get that chalkiness out of them. So that's why I prefer the Yukon Golds. Like I was saying earlier with the fries, I like to double cook them. You do the one batch, you cook them so they start to float. They start to go golden a bit here, like as you can see these here are nice and golden. We're going to take them off, put them aside. You can see there's a tray here Josh has got for me. And uh, we let these cool down and we start cooking other stuff. And we cook them again once they get cooled right down again. And they, they just come out so crispy like that. It's fantastic. There we go. So we're just throwing together an egg wash. Put the fish together in. So just to help that batter stick a little bit more, do an egg wash. You can throw milk or water in with it just to help thin it out a little bit, whatever you got. So we'll just add a bit of cream now. Thin it out a bit. We don't want it too thick, right? We just want it just enough to coat the, the fillets so that there's a little bit of moisture on them and it helps stick helps keep that batter nice and crispy. Okay, so for the onion rings here, and for some fish we're gonna do, I kind of make my own uh, batter that I put together for a beer, beer batter for the fish. I like to throw two eggs in there just to help richen it up a bit. Okay, and then I, you take a beer, whatever your favorite beer is, throw it in there. Dark beer is usually nice for it. And we just mix this all up. Obviously we're gonna need some more beer in there. Made a little extra batter because like I said, we're gonna do some onion rings with them too. So we'll get this all mixed up now. Try and even it out, get everything smooth. It takes a little while, but 
We're going to throw some fish into our egg wash here. Get it nice and coated in the egg wash. And we're going to do here two different pots of going of two different kinds. So we got lemon pepper in one and campfire barbecue for the other. We just take them here and throw them in the baggie with the batter. Throw a bunch in there. It's a big Ziploc bag. There's lots of room. Just make sure you don't put too many. You want to make sure that everything's nicely coated. Everything's even. Give it a shake. Make sure you got some air in there. Once you got that done, take a look. We'll open that up. We'll pull one out here. Nice and coated. And we're going to start dropping that in that hot grease. So we'll go over here to this one. Drop it in there, nice. Bubbling away as we put it in. There we go, look at that. Just a couple minutes for this fish and it's done. It doesn't take long to deep fry fish. Look at the size of these nice fillets. Big bluegills, some nice crappies. All right, as you can see here, look at how nice and golden these are going. Beautiful color to them, right? As soon as they start floating up, they're done. That's all it takes. Go. We're gonna try some of this uh, campfire barbecue batter too. Try and uh, do a whole bunch of stuff. Pulling these out of the egg wash, dropping them in again. Like I said, don't wanna do too many at once. Get a nice even cook on everything here. These things smell so great. Look at that. In we go, that hot grease. Perfect. There we go. It smells like barbecue chips. Alrighty, here's those uh, barbecue campfire. Look at that. Nice and golden. Some great crisp for those. We're going to try the killer crumbs here next in the next batch. We'll get this going. Shake. Look at that. Here's the killer crispy. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Alrighty, so next we're gonna do some of my beer batter. That. Okay, we're gonna drop these in. The beer batter here. Make sure they're well coated. So when I take them out, what I like to do is just give them a bit of a shake because I don't want the batter to be too thick. And the secret to this stuff is when you put batter in, you got to wave it around like this because if you don't, it'll stick to the bottom. Put it in, float her around a bit, and then let her go. And it won't stick to the bottom. Don't we'll stick to the sides of the pot. Let's go again. Oh, the beer batter. Look at these nice golden crispy. We set them there so they don't, uh, we put them on that racking so they stay nice and crispy. They don't go all soggy. Pull them out of here. Look at how golden these are. And I mean, they're crispy. Mix these up here. Alrighty, so next we're going to do ourselves some onion rings. Done in that beer batter. Here we go. Drop these in there. 
Nothing like homemade onion rings. Look at that, why not, eh? Fries, fish, and onion rings. Doesn't get any better than this. Look at these homemade onion rings, eh? Nice, crispy, fantastic. Can't beat them, I'm telling you. It's not hard to make your own onion rings and you can't beat them. Look at these. The nice thing about these, they're not perfect. Some are broken, some are round, some aren't, but they all taste great. Okay, so this is the last step before we're all done is let's crisp up these fries. These things will come out amazing. You just wait and see. They are gonna be so crispy when this is done. Look at that, eh? Just a couple minutes in that oil like that and these things are done. There we go. So here we go. Look at those fries. Talk about crispy fries. Golden, delicious. That's what a double cook is all about. Perfect french fries every time. Well, that's a feast. Well, I think that's everything we got out here that we're cooking for you. So I hope everyone uh, goes out there and does a fish fry and enjoys it as much as we do. I think this is the the. No problem. Want a beer batter one now too? Hold them over here. Yes, please. That's yeah. a lemon Ken, something. Throw one, one of us. I, I have this. Maybe just one of each. That one and that one. Thank you. Wow! Oh, look at that. Dude, look at that. Okay. Hey, <laughs> put onion rings on your plate there. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Oh, look at the fries. Well, Josh loves like fries for some reason. Isn't that weird? It's crazy. It's crazy weird. Like sure, the slider over. I scoop some in. Oh my gosh, you gave me all the onion rings there. Nice. Push my fish over. See if I can Ooh. fit more deep fry goodness into my this is plate. Right here, eh? mm. One that got mangled already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the double cooked fries. Mm. Five minutes. Are you going to try the vinegar and salt like I told you? I oh, will. Onion right rings, salt and vinegar on onion rings is bomb. I'm gonna try it. I put vinegar on. Just do it on one, just in case. I put it all over my fish. Joel, going in. Loaded it up for vinegar and salt. I don't know why anybody, oh, would, wow. anybody not like that. It's like that is delicious. Yeah, every mm. every onion ring that I ever buy gets a mm. dosage of that. Don't do that, eh? The lemon one was my favorite, I think. Yep. Oh, man, that's, that's awesome. How much this one? This was the killer. Killer crumb. Killer crumb. Absolutely delicious, man. That's that was phenomenal. from Denver, Ontario, I believe. Ontario All fish bad. batters. I think that's my favorite. Yeah, it, I would go back and forth between the lemon and the other one. It's got mm. that nice bit of salt in that killer oh. crumb. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice Crunch. Yeah. It's like they put uh, like yeah, large salt chunks on it somehow. I almost looked in the bag when I opened it. I seen cornflakes almost in it. So I used cornflakes for sure in it. 